not perfect because everyone knows there's a perfect standard that they have fallen short of. And that perfect standard, my friends, is God himself. That's why you know you're not perfect. This is why the Bible declares that all are guilty before God. All have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And this is why the Bible says in Romans chapter 1, I think that's so neat. The wrath of God abides upon the unbeliever. Jesus said this, whoever does not believe is condemned already. Did you know that's what scripture says? Ladies, that is what scripture declares. Don't walk away and die in your sins. Come to the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. See, here's the good news, my friend. The perfection that God requires of you. Because you can't give God perfection. But that is God's standard. But the good news is this. The perfection that God requires, He provides for us as a free gift. And this is how. Jesus Christ, 2,000 years ago, came they, into the world. Sir, this is a lie, sir. He came into this the is world a lie, sir. Lived, sir, you spend too much time on the internet, sir. You spend too much time on the internet. Check. They didn't choose the content, sir. I know who did. The church. Which church? The followers of Jesus Christ. When? Since the Bible was written, since the Word of God was written. Yes, when was it written? Yeah, in the first century, two, three hundred years before the Catholic Church ever came about. Okay, and the Catholic Church is not responsible for the Word of God. At the time that they choose the book, somebody choose the books of the Bible. No, no, sir. No, they've always, they've always been believed as true, sir. No. Yes, yeah, since they were written. Sir, you're believing a lie. No, no. Sir, are you putting your eternity on this note? Okay. Are you putting your eternity on this argument, sir? Are you? No, what's going to happen about to you? Eternity. Sir, Jesus is eternity sir, for sir, me. what's going to happen to you when you die? Jesus will save me. He Based on what? Based on what? Because he loves me. Man. Based on what? What makes you lovable? Because I repent. What makes you lovable? Are you a Roman Catholic, sir? Yes. Do you follow the teachings of Rome? Yes. You're not saved, sir. The wrath of God, yes, sir, the wrath of God abides on you. Because the, the gospel of Rome is a gospel of works. Okay. Sir. Jesus, on, I will just speak one thing. Uh, transfiguration. Do I say that? Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Jesus is speaking to who? To his apostles. No. At the transfiguration. Right. When he's on the, the, the mountain, he's speaking to Elijah. And Moses? Yes. Okay. Is he talking directly to God? He's God's son. He's God the son. I mean, is he talking directly to God? Sir, if your argument is, is that we need no, no. we need a priest to go through to no, talk to God. All right, what's your point? The what's point your point? Is it's interpretation. No, sir. No, yes. sir. Sir, no. If Jesus talked to Moses, he uh, made a uh, uh, conversation with Moses and Eli. Elijah, Elijah. Elijah, yes, sir. Elijah. Uh, if he did this connection with people that they are in God, because they are alive. If he spoke to them, they were alive. Okay, yes. what's your point? The point is, if he, he uh, demonstrate us that we could take a conversation with people that are alive in God. No, that was, could, sir, that was God speaking. That wasn't that wasn't no, no, man no. speaking. That was God speaking. God yeah, in the flesh. Yes, sir. But you can't speak to the he dead. Was, sir. He was speaking sir. to to who? Moses right. and yeah. Elijah. Right. You Are they dead or not? They're alive in Christ. They're alive in Christ. Right. But sir, you don't communicate with any saints. You don't communicate through Mary, it, sir. It, it, you don't know, sir. It's not about interpretation. Yes. Yes. Sir, if Jesus you're worshiping is my savior, idols. Jesus is my savior. Sir, if you believe, the fundamental uh, are you rock of my life. Are you saved by salvation, by the grace of God alone, through faith alone, yes. in Christ alone? Yes. Apart from the church. The Apart church from is, the church, the sir. The church said in the first book of Vatican that is uh, Sir, that's mean. not the Bible, it's sir. I mean, sir, that's it doesn't say that it is the Sir, mean. it's not authoritative. What you're quoting me is not authoritative. It's not the word of no, God. I don't yeah. Just saying that for the church, Jesus is the way. The church, the, the church doesn't say she is the way. Sir, it she doesn't is a means. Salvation, to, no. To find Ro Christ. No, the Roman Catholic like, Church is not a means for finding Christ. Okay, but it's I not, think because uh, it's a different gospel. 
Rick, Rick, Rick Warren. Yeah, yeah, he's a blasphemer of God, sir. I don't believe I don't believe Rick Warren saved either. And the wrath of God abides on Rick Warren because because Satan has used him to convince you that you're right with God because some Christian pastor likes the Pope. The wrath of God abides on Rick Warren. Sir, the fact that you mentioned Rick Warren tells me all I need to know about Rick Warren, it's, it's sir. Not, it's not about that. It's about Rick Warren's a liar, sir. Okay. Rick Warren's a liar and of his father, the, the, the author of lies. Rick Warren's don't a liar. Judge and you won't be judged. Sir, you're don't putting sir, your judgment don't, on you, man. Don't twist tell, scripture lest you be like Satan, scripture. sir. Don't you, twist scripture like lest you be like Satan. You, the word of God says to judge. Yes. To judge rightly, not by appearances. Yes. And Rick Warren That's what and you're I don't doing, believe actually. Rick Warren's a Christian because he because he says we now have a new Pope. Because he doesn't preach the gospel to the Pope. Because he doesn't call the Pope to repent and believe. I don't believe Rick Warren's saved. Sir, turn from your sin and put your trust in Christ. Rick Warren's not the authority. The, the Bible you, is. Man. The Bible is. I could right, say the but same you're thing to you. Yes, but you're speaking on the authority of the church. No, I don't speak. Not on the oh, I, pardon me, sir. I speak on the authority of the word of God. Of the word of God. The sir. word of God said don't judge and you would not be judged. Uh, the, if, sir. if if they are not against us, they're for us. The Pope is against Christ, sir. He's no, not for no, it, Christ. No, no. Sir, did, did you, you hear did you Really read something that the Pope uh, said. Yes. Yes. This Pope. Yes. Oh yeah. What, yeah. what is not? Will you let me answer? Yes. Will you allow me to answer? Will you allow me to answer? Yes. Did you happen to catch his speech to Congress? Uh, no, I didn't. That okay. Was, uh, All right. So the Pope, according to the Roman Catholic Church, is Christ's representative on earth. Correct. Uh, right. Yes. Just the Vicar of Christ. To a certain point. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. There, so, a so, all right. So, yeah. here is the representative of Christ on earth, yes. speaking to the whole world yes. through America's Congress, yeah. and he never mentioned Jesus, sir. Okay. He never mentioned Jesus. He never mentioned the way but of forgiveness. Did, did he never, sir. He had time to mention Martin Luther King four times. He had time to mention Abraham Lincoln four times. He had time to mention a Catholic uh, mystic named Thomas Merton several times. He had time to talk about um, changes in the weather. He had time to talk about um, about uh, the crisis in the Middle East. But he never mentioned Christ. Yes. He's not of Christ, sir. He's of his but father, did, did the you, devil. Did you read the the joy of the evangelical? Is that something he wrote? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. If you read inside it, it's clearly said that Jesus Christ is the way. When then, really then, then when the Pope comes out publicly, he does. No, no, no hang on. Let me finish my. But not sir, every time. Let me finish my. Sentence. Every time. Let me finish my sentence. I will believe the Pope is a follower of Jesus Christ when he burns his rosary and when he calls all Roman Catholics to repent of their prayers to Mary. When the Pope does that, I'll believe that there is hope for the Pope. At present, there is none. And, and my it's, friend, it's, I encourage you to turn from your sins. It's not interpretation, sir. It's the difference between truth and a lie. It is, sir.